Welcome back to the channel. I'm Chase and this is All Things Random. Today we are doing a quick unboxing and first impression of the D1 Milano, specifically the Ultra Slim. Okay, and here is the box that it comes in. This is not the watch box. I did open this up already because I was super excited about what was inside. Haven't handled the watch yet, didn't take the watch out. I just had to put my eyes on it and just see if it's as good as the photographs out there that I've seen. Let's open this thing up. Okay, inside a card, thank you for your purchase. Our story begins. Gives a little bit of information right there. On the back, it says it has a two-year warranty, 14-day return. No fear, we've got you covered. And uh, there you go. All right. Nothing else inside the box. And this is what we've all been waiting for. Now, drum roll, please. Just kidding. Overall, first impressions on the watch box itself is actually very good. Again, this watch is just under $400. This is not a Swiss-made watch, and this is not an automatic. However, the presentation so far, I think, is spot on. I think they did everything extremely well. I assume this is going to be the watch manual, right? I mean, everybody who watches this channel probably knows how to set a watch. Honestly, first impressions on this are, it's very, very, very well done. I love the brushing on it. I love the differences in the high polish edges. Brushing on the top looks like it's vertical brushing. I really do love that dial. It is like a deep, dark blue. It says D1 Milano Ultra Thin, and it is very, very thin indeed. All right, let's take it off of this. So one of the first things that I noticed about this is this is a pressure-fitted butterfly clasp. This is not like a standard button, and to, there is a small lip right here. I don't really have that great of nails, but like... I mean, it does have a solid fit. It does have, you know, a nice uh, milled clasp. I'm not sure if I like the way they did that. I mean, it's not coming off your wrist, that's for sure. Let's see, it looks like push pins. Looks like everything is solid. Solid in links, solid bracelet. I really like that everything on this watch is extremely thin. Feels like there are maybe some sharp edges on the bracelet, but really it depends on how it wears on the wrist. On the back side, D1 Milano. Now, you have an option on the website to have the back engraved, and they did it. They did it in such a way that if you wanted to personalize this, I think that's a great thing. I think the service is like 20 bucks, not a big deal at all. Let's go ahead and pop this thing out toss this in actually get it started looks like there is a small black i wouldn't say a jewel or a but i mean honestly i think it looks really nice man everything on this watch looks nice let me try it on my wrist okay again i'm not really a big fan of that clasp because it's gonna it's gonna drive me nuts like once it's on your wrist it's on your wrist clearly i need to, it, you have plenty of room here uh if you are a larger guy i have a seven and a quarter inch wrist so you got plenty of room let me go ahead and remove two two four lengths from each side again this is just push pins so not a big deal at all okay and here it is sized on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. i will tell you this 
This thing is built very well. Uh, it does use push pins. However, again, this is a watch that's under $400. This is a quartz movement. However, you see that there is no second hand, which is one of those things where I just don't care about. I don't care about quartz watches as long as there's not a second hand because I don't like the tick. This thing fits very, very comfortably on my wrist. So comfortably, in fact, I was like super surprised when I put it on. I was like, oh man, this thing fits amazing. And it's even though it's solid stainless steel, 316L stainless steel construction, uh, because everything is thin and it's ultra thin, um, like it's very light. I'm excited to, to weigh it out, find out everything. I'm excited to do the full review on this. Now, the one thing that I really do like about the links is the links are smaller. So because they're smaller, the adjustments are gonna be more dead on to what your wrist would be. I'll give an example. Some watches have thicker links and they have the same sort of butterfly clasp. The issue is, is that when you take away a link with a butterfly clasp, it's either gonna be one of two things. It's either gonna fit perfectly at 68 degrees, but then you go outside and it's gonna be tight on your wrist if it's warm or you're gonna come inside where it's cold and it's gonna be loose. It's not, it's not the same with the smaller links. With the smaller links, you're able to get it adjusted better. I'm really happy they did that. Honestly, I'm super, super happy about this watch so far. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna wear this for a couple days, and then I'm gonna come back. We'll do all the macro shots and the full review on it. Okay, so what do you guys think about the initial first impressions of this watch? What do you guys think about the packaging? What do you guys think about the overall design? Yes, it, it is heavily inspired right, by two other very well-known watches. However, what do you guys think about the overall presentation of the watch, the stuff that has to offer, and the fact that it is an ultra slim watch that can basically fit underneath any cuff. Now, I'm super excited to get all the macro shots done. The full in-depth review will come out in just a few days. So, if you like videos and videos like this, hit that subscribe button down below, leave a comment on the content you guys would like to see. On this channel, I have a lot of videos coming up in the future to include the full in-depth review of this watch. Make sure you guys hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I drop that next video. Until next time.